Hello guys, I go by Manchild in Battlefield 4, and this is a little domination gameplay that I have for you here. Um, hopefully, can learn from some of my mistakes here. Um, I'm pretty much just going to be going over uh, some of the decisions I made, uh, some of the things that uh, I could have done better, whether they be uh, tactical decisions or um, uh, choosing targets, uh, you know, shooting at somebody who has an angle on you instead of another guy. Um, uh, maybe talk about some positional things like uh, like an enfilade or a defilade position, uh, things like that. Um, eyeline angles, things like that. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you learn something too. I think there is a, a significant part of the community that, uh, you know, really wants to play better. Um, and, uh, you know, certainly I, uh, uh, you know, in a number of, uh, you know, in a number of sports, you know, you watch footage of uh, stuff you did and uh, you really learn a lot about um, your own gameplay um, your competitors, things you could have done differently, uh, different kind of situational awareness, um, positional awareness. Uh, one of the things I like to do uh, when I'm playing a game is kind of think of my character in a 3D space and make sure that, you know, I'm shaded behind rocks. Uh, I don't have, you know, I, I, I'm not completely exposed. So right here, a guy I know is strafing down the uh, the mountain because I see my, uh, my teammate die there and then my squad mate ends up picking him up. And here I'm going to make a push up the mountain. Um, this is a tricky area to be, uh, because you can have guys over here by the gas tank, you can have, uh, guys over by the antenna. Here I see, uh, my, my squad mate go down, I see a guy running through the treetops there, I know I'm getting shot in the back. Um, some sort of weird, I get this guy, uh, some sort of weird reload glitch. Uh, so I have to reload again, and I figure, since I'm getting shot in the back, that there's probably people, people chasing me. So I make sure to turn around, cover my six, there's actually another guy here. Um, and I'm using, as you can see, I'm using the M4, uh, with a vertical grip, laser sight, and... Uh, suppressor. I actually usually don't use suppressors all that much, um, but it's uh, it's turning out to be pretty useful in Battlefield 4 to not be on the minimap. Uh, I gotta tell you, in 3, um, you know, I, I tended not to use them. They, they tend to lower your time to kill, lower your bullet velocity. I just didn't, it, it was almost at a disadvantage in the benefits of not being on the minimap. Uh, didn't outweigh the fact that, you know, you were, uh, you were at risk. <laughs> You were at pretty good risk. Uh, so I, here I go to shoot the claymore and somebody ends up running over it anyway or something. Um, yeah, so I dive in here. I wanted to get on burn. Uh, I wanted to make sure. Here I shoot at a dead body, but I saw that guy run uh, over here behind the shed. Uh, and for some reason, so here I check to my right and I see that there is a guy coming around the corner. But I, I just, I had to make the call to kill one of them. Uh, so I took out the guy with the pistol. So here, I am looking for a good respawn point. I see that uh, my squad mates are on burn at A, uh, so I go ahead and spawn on them. Um, there tend to be a lot of guys in this area. I think it, it's easy to hang out up there in the tower. It's easy to shade behind that mountain uh, or, or those uh, those rock tops over there. See, I see I, I take a shot from the right. Um, they're definitely trying to hit me. I think that's a pretty good head glitch spot over there. Uh -huh. And uh, here I am talking to my wife about seeing blackfish. So here I make a critical error. I, we, our team does not have B. Um, I chuck a med bag down to take uh, defilade from the uh, sniper fire on the rocks, and I ended up exposing myself to all the players on top of B. And this guy just <laughs> he just ski balls a grenade down to me with uh, quite remarkable accuracy, I must add. So uh, anyway, so that's the end of that life. And you know, one thing I will say about uh, these new second assault maps is that, uh, at least in domination, the flags are pretty well spread out, and uh, actually maybe too spread out. Um, I feel like there's a lot of lulls in the action where you're kind of sprinting from point to point. The points always seem kind of off in the distance, at least on these maps. Uh, and I realize that domination is not the marquee game mode for Battlefield 4. Uh, but, you know, I like domination. I, I think that it's a nice break in the action from some of the vehicle gameplay at times. And so I, I, I do wish a couple of these maps were a little bit smaller. Uh, so here, I notice that my teammate is kind of sprinting and leaping. And, uh, <laughs> and so he doesn't really have the ability to shoot this guy under the pipe. So I go ahead and take him on. And then uh, I, get, I squeeze off a revive here on a, on a teammate. And uh, here, they must have thought I was like front line in a club or something because it was stacked up on me uh so here's an interesting area i have a pretty nice defilade position behind this rock um and there's a uh, downed tree which which thank god it disappears and and uh kind of reveals this these little three ducks in the river here and i uh, get all three of these guys 
Um, and then I actually, I make a big mistake here, and I don't cover my reload. Um, I reload out in the uh, exposed landscape. There's a guy behind that rock, and he, he lights me up pretty easily. So on my next life here, I uh, spawn on the squad mate, and he pushes over to A, because we don't have it. Uh, so I turn around to cover our six. Uh, I notice a couple chips against the front of the rock face here, but um, when I go to put rounds down range on him, I just can't hit anything. I mean, I found my aim in a dumpster there. So uh, I push back over to A, uh, but the cap time's pretty quick. Uh, because we have so many people on flag, and so I end up getting here kind of late. Uh, but I do notice there's a chip up in the tower here. My squad mate and a couple teammates go down, and, and, and someone knocks a tree down over him, which is kind of a dick move. Uh, so I uh, suppress the guy in the in the tower. I run over. I squeeze off the, the revives. Um, I make sure I have a deflated position behind that rock uh, to shield me from fire from the tower. And I, I'm, and I think everyone gets up safely, so uh, pretty successful there. The, here is the importance of controlling your fire uh, with a burst weapon because I was shooting way too uh, quickly for my own good there uh, and I and I didn't get that kill until the last three rounds in my mag um, and as you might notice the ticket bleeds pretty high right now and uh, and here I make another critical error at this same rock um, because I'm super exposed not only to the guys up top um, on flag at B, uh, but there were also two guys in the river that were on that squad mate's body, and I just did not expect everyone to be there. And then uh, here's an example of me playing very poorly. Uh, with any other rifle or with, or with one that I'm more used to, I, I might have gotten that kill there. Uh, but what happens here is that my teammates push up, uh, I'm kind of stuck in the grenade animation, and uh, he just kind of lights me up. But it's nice, I get a nice uh, teammate revive here, and so I got a duck behind the rock. This is, this is a pretty open map. You know, in Conquest, you have a lot of places you can hide, and, but a lot of it's destructible as well. And see, if you notice there, I spot... Wow, well, God, probably four or five of those guys up there on the rock face. Um, so here I make a bold attempt to try to cross the riverbed without getting sniped at. And B's a tough spot, man. You know, B is, uh, you know, it's up high. Here's something fishy. I see this guy parachute down. Uh, so I take out this uh, beacon here, and I just have a feeling that somebody's going to be coming down after me since I'm setting it off. And sure enough, he does jump down after me. Uh, and here's another tip, too. I threw the med bag on the hillside, and it rolled down, so I actually wasn't healing uh, most of this time. Uh, so make sure you throw your med kits uh, in a nice uh, flat area. So here I push up the hill again with my teammate. This is going to be <laughs> tough. This guy just drops down out of nowhere and freaks me out. I'm taking shots from the left. I lean out. I, I don't see anybody. I see this guy running past the shed, so I think I'm going to jump to my safety. And look who is prone in the most odd... I, why? Which is why would you be there? I, I don't know why of all the... So I give him a little chin music in the chat. Uh, just in, all in good fun. I just... That, that amused me while I was playing this. I just thought, why? I, like, how long was he there? You know, is he is he is he Overwatch for the for the backside of that mountain? Is he just have, was he reloading there? Was he healing? And as you can see here, I made the mistake of spawning up um, behind C again, and so I'm kind of out of the action. Anyway, so I'm sorry that it's kind of an anticlimactic way uh, to end the map, but you know, I didn't want to cherry pick my footage too much. I wanted to kind of show what the typical battlefield experience is going to be um, you know not every game is going to be a 50 and 2 kill streak uh, and you know when you first pick up the game you might go 5 and 25 a bunch of times while you kind of figure out the learning curve you kind of figure out what your own skill set is uh, you kind of develop your own play style uh, so anyway I just kind of wanted to post uh, my first video as something that's uh, more indicative of what a typical play session might be like but at any rate I uh, want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, hopefully there's something in my playstyle or uh, something in my commentary that uh, is relatable for you guys, um, and you can uh, you can learn a little bit from uh, the mistakes I make. I certainly like to watch footage and uh, you know analyze it and kind of kind of see how I can improve. Uh, because I think you know the the better you are at something, uh, the more fun you can have doing it. And so you know I think this game is really unlocked for people. Uh, when they get to a certain skill level, you know, that they're comfortable uh, with and, and, you know, they have, they have a little bit of confidence um, in, in how to handle themselves in the game. And so, uh, and so hopefully in watching my videos, you'll, you'll get some of that. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, and I'm open to any, you know, I'm, I'm open to criticism. I'm open to, you know, constructive <laughs> criticism. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've wanted to get into YouTube for a while now. Uh, and so, you know, so it's, I, I think it's something I can take pretty seriously. I, I I'm going to commit some time to it and kind of see, and kind of see how it goes. So, um, 
you know, so stick around. Uh, stick around and 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 give me some feedback. You know, I'd I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, so yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys learned a little something. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you next time.